Hello everybody and welcome. With the Unreal Engine 5.1 inching closer to release, these are four Unreal Engine 5.1 features you need to know. Using the constraints and sequencer, you can attach objects to each other and have them move together in translation and rotation as you need them. From animating a character picking up a glass and walking away, or having characters pick up a sword or a gun and switch from hand to hand will be a lot easier. These constraints are animated keyframes, which you can enable and disable them at any time. I know this might be cheating, but hear me out. Using constraints again, you can constrain your MetaHuman's eyes to look at and follow the camera. Before we had to use blueprints to do this, I can't wait to try this out myself, having a character walk the streets and setting up a camera that follows. For virtual production, JS Films has an awesome two minute tutorial going over the new green screen method. You can use this to bring yourself or others inside your Unreal Engine scenes. The methods in the past were a bit more hands on dealing with materials, but with 5.1 has never been simpler. I encourage you to check out his tutorial, the link for his tutorial, and the other examples that you've seen here or in the description below. Ever since I saw the Matrix demo in Unreal Engine 5, my thoughts were now we can have a realistic, good looking metaverse, but Luma and Nanite was not supported for VR at the time of Unreal Engine 5's release. Now with Unreal Engine 5.1, Luma and Nanite are now supported for VR. I can't wait to see what will be developed for VR using Unreal Engine 5.1 and beyond. If this was helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Comment below what features you're excited for. And I'll see you on the next one.